Hello everyone, I am DeFletch3004. Welcome back to Space Engineers. I had to go out with my drill and get a bunch more platinum and gold because I have been making a whole bunch of thruster components for our large thrusters and our other thrusters too. But uh, yeah, I completely ran out of gold and was getting quite low on platinum as well. And just so that you all know, these ones take 960 thruster components per large thruster. So that's about a thousand per thruster. If there's only 5,000 with about another thousand coming. Then, um, yeah, we're going to be able to build like six of these, <coughs> excuse me, large thrusters. That's not the best. That's It's going to take way forever to do that. And I also... Um, still need to build the reactors down here i don't know exactly where i start to figure that out put in this subfloor down here i am working on it i got some of this stuff done here i have been framing this out i got a lot of this built up i had to get this these parts built in here which was of course the um, corners and the inverted corners i got that done and i also got these parts up here built which is two corners and then inverted corner corner in the middle and another um, just regular corner and then I have just the angle blocks down here and then uh, square down here at the bottom and I filled all that in and all these are all the thrusters with the large one right here I also move these up by one just to give it a little bit of a good sh um, look i didn't like them sitting as far back as they were i think they will look better like that sticking out just a little bit i think that's gonna be a-okay it should work i don't know why not but at any rate that is done both these sides are the same now i still have to weld up a few of these and i gotta get up in there and actually get some of these parts done like these right here. oh no 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 that was a thruster all right yeah i didn't know that was a thruster i thought that was one of these blocks but that's okay i still got to get that done built anyway i haven't actually been playing this game as much as i have been i have been kind of working on other games i've also been doing stuff outside the house during these times and uh yeah because i've had things to do and I have been called in to do my job more than once, so I go and do that, and that's fine. I don't mind getting out of the house. Guess I'm lucky. Um, I'm also working on these stairs here, and I think I figured it out. I've been struggling to try to figure out how I'm going to get these stairs sealed up, get oxygen inside of here, because I'm going to have a doorway down here at the bottom of the stairs probably on that far edge where these come out to the hallway like right here and right there i'm going to have a door on the edge but the thing is if i were to have a block facing out this way to right here because it's in this block area it may not work right because it isn't allowing enough room so i was thinking about it and i started building some stuff and i'm like having it face down here on the stairs and i could barely walk underneath it but i did and there was barely enough room and then i'm like wait i don't have to do that i can do this differently so i have these oxygen air vents facing out this way so when i go down the stairs there is way enough room for air my character and everybody else that's going to be coming down here and that's what i was hoping for so the air is going to blow up this way and it's also going to be coming up here which means i have one other thing that i have to do and i don't know exactly how i'm going to do it but i'm going to, have to i think what i'm going to try to do is i already have that sealed up in here to where the air will go up there hmm maybe what i can do is extend these out to here still have those doors there take out this door move him back to here maybe seal this up where i built this to go across so that way um i'll go over this here in just a quick second before we really get cracking on things 
As you know, I have these stairs going down to the base here. I can weld up that block real quick. It did run out of plates earlier. Going down to the base here, and I was like, well, if I have this place open back here for anything that I want to put back here that's a block wide, I am going to have a trouble getting back here because there, there was no way to get off these stairs to do that. So I built other stairs over here and put in a block there so I can get up on that back shelf. But if I extend this white right here this door here out to here i can still use that window but move that window to even just put like that i don't know i could put in i could put in actually a big window right here still have that in there that might actually work out really good and then have that doorway there and put in a couple blocks on either side to seal it up so when i come out here the air is sucked up into here and then I don't lose a lot of oxygen. The problem is down here, I have no way to do that. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to suck the air up into there somehow down here, even if this area is sealed, unless this area is sealed really good, I won't, I won't need to do that. But if it isn't, I'm going to lose oxygen every time and it's eventually going to drain all of my oxygen reserves and I would prefer to not do that. Alright, I do have quite a few plates. I have been making a lot of reactor components because they take like um, 2,000 each for the large reactors. That's insane. I have a whole bunch here. What am I out of now? Production. What am I out of? Missing components, gravel. I really don't have any gravel. Am I seriously that low on gravel? Hokey jamokies, I'm actually out of gravel. Can you believe that? Now there was a time that this gravel was so overwhelmingly large that you didn't need, you know, you didn't want any more gravel. I still have to drill out down here, so that would be a good use for all of the gravel to get more gravel so that way I can do that I also want to move these guys back one mainly because I was not thinking clearly I was gonna actually enclose these stairways here and have this nice and sealed up and everything and have these ladders right here sealed up and uh the more I thought about it, the more I realized it was going to take way, way, way much work than I really wanted to do, so I decided not to do that. Now all I got to do is get things figured out about how I am actually going to do things, and it was going to take way too much time to do that, so I just decided not to. It would have been a good idea if it would have worked right, but with all the stairs going different ways, it just wasn't going to work out well, so there was that. All right, I am going to be... I'm already out of plates. Monkey um, monkeys. I'm going to be working on this. I'm going to get this sealed up right down here so I can have the airflow in there. Get these doors in. Get these walls built all the way up. And continue working on this. See if we can get the reactors at least framed in. These doors are like 350 steel plates per door as you can see hopefully right there 100 on the top and 250 on the bottom with a bunch of const well not really a bunch several constructions small tubes there are a few pieces in here not many just a few and it's going to take a long time to get this thing done it is coming it is just very very slow I'm going to have to go drill out down there, get a whole bunch of gravel. Let me go see about doing that. Where are all of my steel plates? I'm going to have to make a lot more steel plates, aren't I? Of course I'm going to have to make more. You always need more steel plates. Let me actually get this guy off here so I'm not loading up this ship with stuff that I really don't want. Like this kind of stuff. So I don't want this. Serious? That's more gold that I have. Oh, how much gold is in this darn thing, man? How much is in here? Okay, this thing is actually really full. I'm going to have to transfer a bunch of that gold so I can continue building. And I will come back and I'll talk to you then. One of the nice things is when you are putting in angle blocks like this, 
if you have them already attached on one side like they are right here or even down over here it's not that big of a deal to put them in if you're trying to attach them like somewhere else and there is not much going for them like if they were not attached on either end I would have to build a square back here just a normal block and then put one of these in and just either build a whole bunch of square blocks and then put these on top of them or you know in front of them or whatever but because they have the way that they are connected I don't have to worry about that and that's makes this process so much more quicker I am not able to go all the way down over this way mainly because I haven't got this drilled out yet I've been working on those stairs trying to get those done I believe that I have them mostly sealed up I'm not gonna do this side more than that side at least too much more it is some more but not you know all the way up I have been trying to get some of this floor in. I have a fair amount of this wall side in on the bottom. I still have to put a lot of this floor in, but I do have a bit of it done. I am trying to decide if I really want to have these guys right here, if I need them or not. And I was building these all the way up to there, and I had a design claw, which I'll go over in a minute. And I decided that I did not need to have these right here going all the way up because if I have doors right here that come out to this area then I won't need to have you know this seal all the way up because that's mainly for these stairs what I've done is I put in those offset doors and then I decided to go and put in some one one by two windows excuse me and so of course you have this up here this is the oxygen vent along with the uh, conveyor and then the curved tube so that way the oxygen will come up here I guess I still have to do these guys don't I but I got most of these done I'm gonna have to go back out there and get these done I'm only doing basically where the stairs are and what that means is like blocks that are down here beneath where this is I'm not really worrying too much about because that shouldn't make a big difference I haven't gotten around to getting this out here done like I wanted to yet but I am gonna work on that here in a minute just move this door out here basically make this an archway and seal it up all the way up to there which I guess really wouldn't take too terribly long it's just like you know doing this kind of stuff is the part of the process that I'm not nobody really likes to have to do but we do know we have to do these kind of things gotta watch my inventory make sure I'm not gonna fill it all the way up should be okay I'll put the offset door out here oh. uh, what the heck did I do hokey jamoke it's doing way more than I thought I were okay you just get welded back up there son I'm just welding every or grinding everything down I don't want to do that this guy welded let's get this guy welded this one oops this one this one and then I can either put in that offset door or even another sliding door but I think an offset door would be good and again I have these doors here so when I do come up hopefully any of the air will be automatically sucked right up into here and I can see I'm gonna have to go ahead and just seal that up as well so I guess there really is no point in having those catwalks up there especially if I'm gonna have this because otherwise the air is gonna go out here and then it's just gonna be wasted let me see as long as that is sealed I guess I don't really have to worry too much about this just gonna get rid of that that and that Let's see you know what I could do is actually just put the catwalks right here 
to keep me from falling out here, but I don't I'm not afraid of falling out there, no, but And if you get like the better drills and stuff, they will go through things a lot faster. Be aware of that because they have a bigger radius, I guess. So just be aware of that because you have the different drills that if I go to G and I go to character tools, once you start making these better things, like even these, they has a uh, have much higher radius as do these so you'll be going through stuff a lot faster and now they're also better just all the way around and everything else eight let me see am i not on the am i on the right one okay yes i am eight let's do an offset door actually you know what we could just actually do a regular door there couldn't we because of the blocks being right there that's good Interior plates. Six interior plates. What did I do with all those? Apparently, I used all the interior plates. Thought that door would have had the interior plates, but I must have must have used them them somewhere. Let's go see if we have any here. I don't believe we do. I think actually. Nope. Still have over two thousand to do. I ran out of gravel again. I actually found a bunch of gravel in the back here that was the stone back here and so I fed it into the refinery and I made a bunch more so we get that door built all right so anytime that we open this door right here any air in there is going to be sucked out that way anytime that we open these doors right here or here air is going to be sucked Energy into low. here and is this going to work right I'm going to have to think about this a little bit because maybe I did kind of not do that right I was having problems with this not giving oxygen like I said the last time just got out of the game loaded right back up and working fine again and the sound was all funky and everything I think I may have messed that up because when I come out here anything let me see that will suck the air up through there but when I come up this way as long as this door shut it will suck the air up through there okay I got it so I just have to make sure this door shut and then any air from there any air from there will be sucked up into there as long as I of course shut these doors all right so at any rate long story short these guys are ready to go the doors are ready to go I believe both of these sides are ready I don't know why I have an open block there. I might as well just go and seal that one up because I'm not going to be putting really much of anything up in there that I can think of. And the air vents are ready. The tubes are ready. I got those guys in. I got the conveyors in. So both sides are exactly the same. That should work. Give us plenty of air. Come up here and then all of the same thing here. Okay, good. And then, like I say, go out here. As long as this door's shut, it'll suck the air in. All right. I'm going to continue putting the floor in down here at least. And then we'll have that much done and ready. What is that out there? That is freighter. It is coming. I just got to figure out my next steps, which are going to be how to make this part from right here, which means I got to probably take this out connect to over here and that's going to be a challenge because i'm going to have to yeah i'm definitely got to take these two out and then start angling pieces to go this way across here so it matches that up there still got to drill that out down there i am making progress it's just 
kind of right now a little bit slow and I think what I'll do is just take this across here until I can get that drilled or yeah drilled out down there I was gonna say ground out but that's what you use a grinder for on the ships not the ground because it won't do any good it just destroys it and you get nothing I don't even know if you can destroy it with a grinder as far as I know, you're not able to, but then again, I haven't tried because, well, you don't use very much on the ground. I'm going to work on this, and I'll be back when I have some more stuff done. All right. Finally, I think I got most of it figured out. I still have to figure out this up here. How I'm going to do that? Probably have to move these thrusters. I kind of wasn't thinking when I put these pieces down like that there. And this over here because I was thinking I could just, uh, I mean, if I, I could just take it across there like I did here and just have angled pieces. But if I wanted it to look anything like this where it angles in, then I'm going to have to do it like that because all these thrusters are just going to be exposed. And that's fine. I mean, you know, they are exposed over here. But on the bottom here, there was no way to really do that short of taking this down to, um, I still could, take this just flat down to here and then angle it over here. But I'm still having a problem trying to angle that. And so I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. This is one side. I don't know what I think about it. I may try to see if I can take these angles down and just try to finagle it over there because this this is fine up here this works really good up here it looks good it looks great I'm not too sure about down here though with these pieces I may have to do something a little bit different so um, that's the problem with like designing these kind of things is sometimes they don't work out quite like you think and it's like uh oh all right, I got almost all the floor in except for down there where I don't know what I'm going to do quite yet over on that side. And my design flaw was I had these tubes going about where these are right here. And so it was either build the wall out further here or have it wrap around here, taking up a bunch more room that I really didn't need for it to take up. And so I just opted to uh, do it like that. I moved them out one and then did it that way. That was about the best thing that I could think of to do. It worked out really well, worked out better than I thought it would. And that's all I was really looking for. I am quite pleased with the way that worked out. So now I have the conveyors there with the oxygen inside, and that should be good, I'm hoping. Okay, I have a few pieces in there. I need to get a few more of these welded up. I don't know if I'm going to have enough plates, because that's going to take at least 100 plates right there. I can do three, I hope. And I have 10 plates left, and that's going to take about 24 plates. I did make a lot of progress. I got those stairs sealed up. I got a lot of these pieces extended energy. down over here. I ran, I almost ran out of energy, apparently, for about the 64th time in this episode. And I got... Uh, the stairs figured out I got that in I did all this a lot of this stuff right here off camera I did a lot of this other stuff off camera um, before the episode really started I was planning and stuff did a bunch of this stuff in here got these doors in all of these stairwells wells are sealed as I said this should work I don't know why not got to get those windows in and I have them just right on the edge of there, facing in. That should work. Hopefully everything here is coming along pretty good. I just have to figure out this front up here. I'm, I'm not too sure what I think about this. Mainly because when I get over here, I mean, it's fine. 
it's bringing it down here and not having to move a whole bunch of thrusters over and over and over and over and over. I did go ahead and move this one back in one if it's going to be like this down here. And that was about the only thing I could do to kind of make that look good. Keep moving things around just a little bit, trying to make things work. Hopefully they will work. I'm going to continue welding on these. I think what I'm going to do is I'll weld up like this strip up here and a few other pieces. And I'll continue this at a little bit later date on the next episode or the next video or whatever. It should be a good portion of the way done. I just got to figure out the front. That is driving me crazy. These side pieces will not take long at all. Just drop them down and I got to figure out thrusters for um, going up. And those are have to go in the floor. So again, I'm going to have to really do some figuring because I kind of wasn't uh, thinking about that when I was making this design. I did, but it wasn't something that was in the front of my mind. It was more at the way back burner that hasn't worked for a long time. Apparently, so yeah, I guess I'll keep on working on that. Try to get those thrusters in if I can. Once those guys are in, then I won't have to worry about them. That would be good. Because I still have to figure out if I move the thrusters, even if I put them on this edge, that's still going to be a lot of thrusters I'm about to put in. So this two gap room that can be underneath here can be thrusters coming up in here you know the smaller thrusters with the walkway here even if those thrusters do stick out one block high that's that's fine that's the way these things go it's just trying to figure out all this other stuff like this I am not a hundred percent sure how I'm gonna do that maybe I should build the wall first and then figure out where I'm gonna put the thrusters that way I have an idea of how it's gonna work I'm going to have to think about something like that. But we're getting things done. There's a lot more welded on here than there was when, you, when we came in. And I hope you guys are enjoying this. Again, this thing is going to take a while to do. There's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of thrusters and everything to be added. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And thank you again for getting me to, you know, where I am. I, I know I'm not a very big channel, but you're helping me grow. And every time that happens, I do thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for joining me here. Thank you for watching my videos. It is a pleasure to do all these for you. And, you know, for me too, I do enjoy doing this stuff. It's, it's actually kind of fun. This ship is going to weigh so much. It's ridiculous. That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Probably because of these ones here, and I bet if I weld these, and that disappears on the outside. Yep. Okay, now I know. I just wasn't too sure what that lip was. Isn't that weird how that does that? you guys have an idea about how long it's going to take to build a big ship on here this big ship right here was easy that was really easy because he was a big ship but he was just a big block ship these are big blocks also but there's a different idea here a much more grand scale and that's one of the biggest differences and as most of you know, the ship that's in this bay here was uh, pretty involved also. This guy right here took quite a while for me to do and he was just a small, small guy compared to this. Alright, well now we have a lot going on. Looks like there's another... It's doing that up there in this section too and I don't really understand why that's weird. 
I guess once I get these welded up all the way, then everything will be good and get these pieces in, or even if I use more angle blocks, which I might just to give that a slope. Like, oh, there we go, like that. That's what I was thinking of. So if I give these guys a slope like that, then I think that would actually look really good. And again, do another slope right down here. Energy low. And do something like that. I think that would actually look really good up on this top bay area because I'm not going to have any lights there. I'll probably have them on walls and whatever. So you can see how this is coming. Those, at least those stairs are sealed. That actually took longer than I thought that it would. This area is ready to be sealed. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and get these blocks in so I don't have to worry about these. This is Space Engineers. Thank you guys for joining me here. I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos. And all the work that goes into these, and uh, sometimes it's actually a lot more than you would think that it is just playing a game, just trying to figure out how the heck you're going to get done what you're going to get done in the time that you have available, and that can be the most challenging part. Got a lot of the floor in, got a lot of floor in back here. I have to drill this out back here. I probably spent two hours going out getting a bunch of resources getting a bunch of these pieces in here and of course I got the floor in when we were recording this and I got pieces in here I just need to get that ground down there with the drill and we got a bunch of these in here on this side and the other side and the floor it's coming it is just very slow and this front is driving me bonkers so I'm out to kind of figure this out I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a great day. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.